Hey bro, I'm Armadir and welcome back to Europe Universalis 4, Rise of Men, with Kaelvin. Hi everybody. So, where we last left off, I'm a horribly corrupt backward shithole now. And I lost my supposedly amazing ruler who was supposed to give me a boost in this game. <laughs> it happens. It happens. I still have the Prince Regent, so hopefully he's not going to die. Hopefully. He's 42 years old. You really should just stop opening your mouth. <laughs> like, every time you do, you're just jinxing it. You know that, right? Yep. It seems that's what's happening. Yeah. Oh, boy. So, um... But you said, but you, said you were a scientist, so you don't believe in such a thing as jinx. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> but speaking of science, I decided to go poking around in the code because, um, you know, there's a catch-22 with reforming the government and converting uh, your religion. Yep. And, well, I've already told you, but act surprised. Would you, kn you know what I found? Yep. Yeah. I found that has reformed religion is a custom tooltip made by Paradox and actually has absolutely no meaning whatsoever except for what it's defined there. And you know what defines having a reformed religion is? Yeah. Having feudalism as an institution. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Good job, Paradox. Yeah, t 10 out of friggin' 10. That's uh, <laughs> be best tooltip ever. Has reformed yeah. religion equals feudalism. Paradox got into tooltips. Feudalism is apparently a reformed religion now. Oh, boy. Yeah. I've actually become pretty underwhelmed with this expansion, to be honest. A lot of these yeah. new features, other than the tech system, mm -hmm. I'm not liking them very much. Like, the, uh, the, the, the tech system is pretty good. I, I like the spread of the institutions and all that. But, so far, debasing currency, I've proven to be a terrible, terrible <laughs> idea. <laughs> Should never be undertaken under any circumstances. And the Great Powers system is a grand total of four abilities for eight countries. That make very little difference in the grand That's scheme. That's kind of, of crappy. So, and did you know this expansion is priced at $20? Is it? Yeah. And okay, the tech well... system comes free. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I'm apparently in the dissenting minority, but I don't like this expansion at all. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's asking it a seems, lot. It seems it needs a little bit more for that price tag. Yeah, I know. Like, especially since the tech system is coming in the free patch. Like, that to me is like the main selling point of this, and you don't have to pay for it. Yeah, that's weird. It is, it is. That said, I mean, the consort system's alright. It's good enough. Alright. So, how what do you think of the expansion so far, Marbazir? I don't think I played enough to judge it. <laughs> mm, Especially fair. after my one year break. Mm, yeah, that's reasonable. Yeah, I need to get back into it a little yeah. bit more than this. This this is your only U4 series, isn't it? You haven't played... You mean right now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you haven't played like say four hours on stream and have an entire no, series no, no, going. no. I, I've not played this expansion in single player at all before doing this. Yeah, so you haven't quite gotten enough hours racked up into it yet. Correct. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Screw you guys. I don't need your alliance. All right. Hmm. So right now we are basically waiting for someone to declare war on someone. Or for you to recover the... your army and or for me to recover my corruption. Yeah, I am at zero manpower right now. Yeah, you have no manpower. I'm loaded up with corruption, which blows. So. Like, that's a thing. Not amazing. Yeah. We're just kind of in some downtime, so I figured I'd bring up other things to talk about as well. Oh, 
is my corruption doing? I'm down to 7.3. Oh, you can get a skilled tow advisor for 50% of the cost. By to estates. That's nice. Yeah. If you can get an event for it, they're great. No, I mean from estates. Oh, estates, yeah. Interactions, you can do that. Yeah, you haven't really looked too much into what you can do with estates, have you? Yeah, not really. I mean, I've not really played that. I played one game with Cossacks and it didn't go very well, let's just say. <laughs> yeah, you Mostly can, you can... because of the estate system. Yeah, yeah. You can also uh, get a 40, ge ge uh, well, 40 general tradition, no. 40 tradition general uh, from the yeah. nobility estate. I just got plus one stability for free. Well, there you go. How about that? Yeah. Which means I can convert, but it would take 208 months. Sounds about right. Might, might not be the smartest idea. Yep. Alright. And I've reached maximum corruption reduction speed. Go you. Yep. I will be, uh, I will be prepared in seven years. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Yep. So, doing the math on this, it costs me 210 gold a month uh, to root out corruption at a rate of one per year. Right? Yep. Uh, and debasing my currency gave me two corruption and 28 gold. So, running the math on this, gold. I'm paying 48 gold to remove the corruption that I got from debasing my currency for 28. Tell us again how you feel about debasing your currency. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I'm just doing the math on this, and this is like a 40% interest loan that screws your monarch power until you pay it back. So can you tell me why you didn't just take a loan again? It was a new feature, and I was feeling experimental. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, I well, learned my lesson. Off. Yeah, it didn't pay off, apparently. No, no, it's terrible. Never do it. Oh, good <laughs> lord. Ugh. Yeah, so... That sounds like the last resort option. Yeah, like, okay, I have no more loans to take out. Yes, I better yeah, start yeah. debasing my currency. And I'm literally about to lose. And yeah. Then I can maybe do that. Mind you, if you've gotten to the point where you're going to debase your currency, good luck coming back from it. Yeah, probably. Hey, Kanem Borno is losing their army. <laughs> yeah, Kanem Borno is being invaded by Yao. Yeah. They tried to run away into the wasteland and got wrecked by the natives. That's never happened before. <laughs> God. Uh, the AI is morons when it comes to wasteland, I tell you. Yeah. Like, they just, everyone, I guess, assumes they're European. Which... But th these natives are pretty damn aggressive. Like, 6,000 natives in these provinces yep. with a shit ton of aggressiveness. Apparently, the natives have a more dangerous army than most of the nations in the area. Yeah, that's actually because of how nations' like strength is determined, and it's kind of bullshit. And the Akane Borno is going to get annexed by Yao completely. Alright, and Yao is allied with Songhai. So, I feel yeah. like our next target to invade is to get is have you annex air. Yeah, I think so. Air is allied with Timbuktu, but at least that's not Songhai. Yeah, but Timbuktu and Songhai are rivals, so they'll never grant, they'll, there will be no military access grant. Mm -hmm. So you'd be completely isolated. No, no aid could come. They have 5,000 forces right now, so you outnumber them 2 to 1 on your own, and worst case scenario, I can always help. Yeah. I just need a claim first, All so right. I need to wait for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And maybe recruit more men. Uh, I can get 1,000 more. Yeah. Is it worth getting Kabari? Because it doesn't look like it. Well, they're horribly expensive, but they're horribly good. Mm. That's, they, uh, really, they don't have a lot of peeps at this stage of the game. Uh, you're right, but uh, if we have a look over on the military tech screen, 
we will see that the cavalry right now has one plus one to shock, whereas the African infantrymen have plus 0 0.5. Though the African spearmen do have plus 35 to uh, things, so. All right, you convinced me. Yeah, it's not terrible. Cavalry is pretty good. Three pips. Three I keep getting pips. border friction events with you, which is pretty silly considering we do have an alliance, right? Yeah. I mean, on the plus side, we always have a pretty good option. We don't care about each other's opinions. Yeah, true. But it's a little bit silly. I don't know. It's weird. It is. It totally is. Uh, I don't think I'm quite willing to throw away six stability to declare war, you know? Uh, why not? <laughs> How unreasonable of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ever since apparently, like, canceling alliances and canceling independence guarantees give you, uh, truces now. Yuck. I guess they didn't want people to abuse it too much. Yeah, it's fair, I guess. And it probably won't work. <laughs> and on the plus side, I mean, being guaranteed is now a good thing. <laughs> yeah, which it should be. Yeah, yeah. But beforehand, if you were guaranteed by someone, it's like, oh, crap. They, they, they want my uh, head on a platter. No, not so much. Hmm. My truce with Katsina has ended. I can now declare war. Uh, yeah, no, let's not do that. Yeah, Songhai, Yao, and Katsina have a friggin' triangle there. Yeah. It's a nuisance. Yeah, like, this alliance network is annoying. Just a little bit. We'll definitely have to wait for a political shift. Right. So an alliance tri network of this size is nowhere near stable, so... Someone's going to declare war on someone. Well, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. It just takes a little time. If they wait long enough, I might actually get level 4 military. Mm -hmm. Well, but I mean, one... it would take me 4 more years. Yeah, once we have level 4 military, we can pretty much stomp them. Yeah. All right, so can you join a war? Oh, uh, yeah, you, I, 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 I can totally, totally join a war. Uh, hold on, provincial unrest. Why the heck am I getting so much unrest? Probably because um, the recent revolt modifier just wore out. Plus 8.50 from separatism. Call to arms. Let's pause for a moment. Yeah, the nation of Mossy. Against... Wait, what? Against Dagbon? What? They're invading Dagbon. No, other way around, I think. Mm, oh, I... yeah, they are starting an offensive war. Yeah, I was gonna say, that doesn't sound right at all. Yeah. <laughs> Dagbon <laughs> wouldn't Dagbon invade Mossy. Attack. Yeah, I mean, do we want to join that? Because if I decline, we, we'll lose the alliance, or I will lose the alliance, at least. I mean... Uh, I, mean, I think it's see. fine. Hang it's on, not like on. these people will conquer us. <laughs> Just a second. Just a second. I cannot and force mostly... peace on someone I have a truce with. Yeah, mm -hmm. go ahead. I, I can't join in. Because, like, while this is going on, Mossy might get attacked by Songhai, for example. Yeah, I, I, that's why I kind of just have to be ready. All right. Yeah, no, you're, you're fine to join in. Like, All I... Right. I I can't enforce peace on Mossy to join in on Dagbon's side, but, or anything, so. Right, let's resume. I don't think you actually have to help them. I think they'll be just fine on their own. 
Yeah, possibly. If I were you, I'd just go worry about air and go kill them. I mean, like I said, you literally outnumber them two to one right now. Yeah, but air is also allied with Timbuktu. Yeah, and Timbuktu is rivals with Songhai, so they will never give military access. True, true. You, you'd, it would be a literal, uh, you know, free fight between you two. All Easy. right, you convinced me. But I can still call you in, right? Yep. And you, Worst you case scenario, join. if you somehow manage to lose when outnumbering them two to one, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, I'll come help. <laughs> All right, fine. Try not to get to that point. Uh, hold on. Another call to arms? What the heck is going on? Yep, yeah, Songhai declared war pretty much immediately after I declared my war. Well, we have to give Songhai up... Songhai and Mali and Kong. Yeah, we have to give up Masi then. So, decline? Yeah. Because we can't go to war with Songhai, Timbuktu, and Air all at the same time. Yeah, we definitely can't. Yeah, we uh, need to keep Songhai from giving, from uh, letting Timbuktu through. But you know that the problem with this is that they will get even stronger. Yep, but there's nothing we can do right now. Alright, I hope I have a big enough advantage here. Mm -hmm. They have a pretty crappy general, only one shock. Yep, easily. Yeah, now I figured I you'd have, have no problem with it. If I have enough troops, I don't think... Yep, I literally don't have enough troops to siege this. Like, I don't have enough. Alright, <laughs> alright, alright. I can recruit one more, but yeah. Well, that, those should reinforce, shouldn't they? Yeah, they will reinforce, but I can't get started. I don't like how you need so many. I got an air. A 4 4 zero. Eh, that's kind of crap. Eh. Zero in the military. Oh well. There, I wiped out their army for you. <laughs> yep, I saw. I suppose I could just annex all of this crap, right? Yep, pretty much. The development level seems to be pretty low. Only one province at nine, everything else is at three. Yep, you should have no problem with it. The only problem is that I'm at 179 admin power. Yeah, that's, that's not ideal. Yeah. Oh well. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of action going on <laughs> in yeah. the southwest. R remember how I said it would only be a matter of time before something collapsed to this everything? Yeah, pretty much. And Mossy doesn't stand a chance. Yeah. And more troops. I can't really move and abandon the siege. Can you take care of them? Alright. Dagvon retained control of that god. So, 1463, yep. I need to get a spine to work there now. I got some pretty bad unrest. Oh, it's actually going up. From war exhaustion, yeah, if I had to the, Yeah, gas. because of war exhaustion. Separatism is going down, but now I got war exhaustion. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really want to raise autonomy in my 15 development province. Oh wow, they're actually attacking you. Yeah, apparently. Well, I mean, I guess I'll send my I, troops as reinforcements. I should be able to win, but yeah. Oh, I lost my siege. Well, uh, I'll back you up then. 
Leader trait gained. Hardy warrior. Minus 20% land attrition. That is actually kind of nice. Yep. Uh, just beware when they get really freaking terrible traits. <laughs> Much like CK2. So sometimes you get, uh, you know, God among men, and the other times you get imbecile. Yeah. Uh. This might take a while. Yeah, well, we're up to four progress already on the siege, so. It's not too bad. Up Hopefully no one will attack us while this is going on. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, Mossy is about to get completely wiped out. Yeah, but everything's happening just... Everything's happening favorably for me right now. I, I, can, I can exploit what's going on. In fact, I do plan to exploit what's going on. Because you'll notice that um, Dagbon is not yeah. part of Mossy. Did not get annexed. And will remain independent long enough for me to attack them. Makes sense. And from Dagbon, I can go to Bonaman, to Kong, to Mossy, uh, to Jene. Well, probably not yep. Jene. But Good plan. I, I, I have access to a lot of land over there now. Uh, which is what I've been trying to get. Unfortunately, we do lose a, a chunk of Mossy, but not the end of the world. Alright, we're up to 11 progress on this blasted siege. Yeah. Now it's all down to luck. Yeah. So, fingers crossed. Yep. Yeah. 12, alright, we're at full progress. Doesn't go any higher. You... Hmm. Yep. Well, I, uh... I have to pull out of here around March, so hopefully the siege is finished by then. Okay. Because I have, I have a date with Dagbon. <laughs> And they won't like it, will Yeah, they? no, it's it's not a friendly date. It's a more of, I'm going to bend them over uh, kind of date. No comment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, I can't leave you because you can't finish this siege alone. Yeah. All right, here's the plan. I think you have to wig out and go fight the war against Dagbon for me while I siege this for you. Okay, do you have enough troops here? Yeah, I've oh, got yeah, 10,000. 10, All right, fine, I'll yeah. go. You, you have to go, I have to siege, apparently. Okay, fine. Oh, there we go, finally. Oh, it's done, nice. All right, quick, let's wrap this up then. Yep. Transfer. I think I need more ward score, though. Yeah, well, no, we just have to just quickly siege down everything here. We're already at 51%. Yeah. But we still have to do it, and it will take a moment. Yeah, it'll take a month. I, I guess I can casually wait a month. Mm-hmm. Not the end of the world. Watch out, there's still an army. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't underestimate them. Yeah, they are dead. Wow, I actually lost that fight. Or will? Will I? Close. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. hold on. I'm getting attacked by Kong. Okay. I think I can win. You're not Let's even slow this down. Can you slow down to speed too? Yeah, sure. Uh, no, you're not actually at war with Kong. Those are Kondottery. Oh, but they... I got attacked by someone. Yeah, that, that's the, no. No, um, Air hired their am, troops. No, I am at war with Kong. Are you? Yeah, I am in the war right. in Mossy Conquest of Dagbon. Oh, oh, that's why. Okay, yeah. Oh, it was Kong, and they are still there. In They've Bobby. also managed to occupy your capital, apparently. Yeah. So that's a bit of a problem. That that's a minor issue. All right, I'll slow, I'll slow down. Say so. that, that's fine. Uh, can you transfer the siege to me or something? Yeah. I did lose quite a lot of troops. Mm-hmm. That's 
bit of a problem. I got zero manpower and only 5.5 thousand. And now they are attacking me. I think I'm going to lose here. Don't worry. It will be close. Even if you do it lose will be there. Very close. Alright. You should be able to make a pretty decent piece with air right now. I don't know if it'll be annex, okay, but. I won. I'm only at 59% for some reason. Yeah. That's because Timbuk2 makes up a giant chunk of the war score. Yeah. Which is okay. I'm just going to wait for that last siege you're doing. Mm -hmm. Which will get us a uh, solid 65, hopefully. Yeah, just 61. Okay. And then we kill this crappy army. That will give us a little bit of war score. Yep. So might as well do it. I'll finish them I off. I think they are, they are confused about life. <laughs> yeah. Done. Okay, pause. And then let's have a look. You should be able to take a decent chunk of them, considering they're pretty low development. Probably should be able to get everything but their, uh, but one province, even. Oh, cannot select this pro- Oh no, hold on, I just didn't select first ones. Mm -hmm. Well, I could take almost everything. So take almost yeah. everything. Leave yeah, I will forever. leave them the nine development province, because it will be a pain to create a core in there. Fair enough. All right. There you so go. let's see, like this, and I think I can get some gold. Never hurts. Yep, quite a lot of gold, in fact. And anything else? What if I... Oh, I can't turn them into a vassal. That would probably be bad anyway. Yeah. Humiliate? No. Okay, I guess that will do. That's a good enough deal. Mm-hmm. Unpause. Okay. And I'll pause again to start some chords. Yep. And I need my capital back. Yeah. That would be nice. Working on that. Alright, I might have some rebel problems. There's also that. Also, apparently Kong is now pouring troops into you. It turns out trying to help Mossy in that war, uh, not the greatest yeah. idea. Was not a good idea. Yeah, yeah. But this is time to make a cut, so mm -hmm. we'll continue in the next episode, hopefully with some kind of plan. Well, don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to go to war with uh, Dagbon mm -hmm. at the start of the next episode. And they'll, Thanks for watching, everyone. War, so, yep. Thank you, everybody, for so, watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.